a very good morning to principal sir our faculties and fellow students i extend my warmest welcome to each and every one gathered here for the webinar on bottles for change organized by shah and anchor kachi engineering college in collaboration with bisleri international private limited we have with us today mr abhijit r kakade sir sir is a professional social worker and holds a master's degree in social work from carve institute of social service sir has also completed his bachelor's of science degree in physics sir serves as a corporate social responsibility executive now without any much further ado i would like to hand over the session to sir over to you sir uh, thank you for the uh, introduction uh, so as as you are aware about my profile and what i am doing and my name so i will directly start with the uh, uh, csr of bisleri so basically bisleri uh, is having uh, some csr initiatives csr stands for corporate social responsibility so as a corporate we have to uh, do something for the social causes and that is why the corporate uh, corporate social responsibility department uh, is formulated so i am working over there uh, as an executive and working for the implementation of programs and activities so basically we have three broad initiatives uh, first one is nai umeed so uh, nai umeed is for the water conservation and for awareing uh, and having the access uh, for all people to the clean and safe drinking water so this aim is covered under nai umeed second initiative is about the ozone therapy so in bisleri uh, at our bisleri plant at our head office we have a ozone treatment plant where we promote uh, this ozone therapy for the cancer patients and also for the severe diseases that we know blood pressure and all so instead of going uh, taking medicines we are preferring that ozone can uh, uh, you know cure this type of diseases at a greater extent so we are promoting that therapy also under csr and third initiative is it's for itself is bottles for change uh, in this particular session i will explain you uh, this uh, bottles for change initiative so uh, basically bottles for change initiative is having the aim to aware citizens about plastic recycling and proper disposal of used plastic so used plastic in the sense whenever we use plastic we have to dispose it properly and we have to ensure that it goes for the some good cause so that whole aim is covered in this particular uh, initiative so we are working with different uh, layers of stakeholders we are working with housing societies we are working with schools and colleges we are working with corporates we are working with hotels and restaurants even we are working with the regional institution like churches uh, temple associations and uh, regional platforms where people gather so we are aware them about uh, how they can uh, you know just segregate the plastic and they can have a change in their own habit so in this particular uh, session i will cover all the things related to the initiative i will explain you what is your expected role i will explain uh, the work mechanism uh, how the initiative works i will also explain what are the benefits what are the uh, you know some technical points related to the recycling of plastic uh, i will just highlight a data of our reach uh, we are now uh, working in mumbai in mumbai we are working in navi mumbai thane uh, and all parts of the uh, greater uh, parts of the mumbai also we have started this initiative in delhi chennai bangalore and now in next year we are planning for ahmedabad and goa so we are planning to have this initiative pan india level every state we want to cover where we can uh, promote uh, the proper disposal of uh, plastic so in particularly in mumbai we have covered almost more than 700 housing societies uh, school colleges more than 500 we have covered corporates they are around 400 which we have covered from overall mumbai location also uh, hotels and restaurants having uh, uh, about are about uh, 400 to 500 and regional institutions i think every church of mumbai is a part of uh, this particular initiative where they are ensuring that uh, no plastic goes in the landfill and it goes for the recycling 
So uh, now uh, we will just focus on uh, what actually the initiative is or what actually we do uh, uh, with this initiative with these stakeholders. So basically I start my session always with two questions. That is uh, many of us know that plastic is creating many problems or many of uh, uh, us are having this uh, understanding that plastic creates the environmental problem. Plastic is creating uh, very much, uh, you know, pollution. This type of aware awareness we have. So Bistler is having a different perspective because this thinking will not help us to cure the problems that we are facing. We need to channelize a different habitual change through which uh, we can tackle out this point. So a uh, simple question uh, is like this that if uh, how many of uh, you that think that plastic should be banned that or plastic should not be used uh, because plastic is creating different different pro problems. So how many of you think that plastic is should be banned or plastic should be you know uh, not used it should not be uh, channelized for the daily life activities. I know most of you will answer that uh, yes, plastic should be banned and plastic should not be used. Most of you will answer. Some people might have a different opinion about that. Second question is uh, uh, related to this question. Those who think that plastic should be banned. Second question is for them uh, that how plastic is going in the landfills or how plastic is going in the oceans. So uh, that is again a big question. So the, does plastic is uh, we know that plastic is not a living thing. So uh, plastic is not having any hands or legs to walk so that he can walk and run and just simply jump into the ocean or go to the landfills. We are the uh, channelizing agents. We are uh, throwing plastic everywhere. We are throwing plastic uh, in the oceans and through that channel, through that medium, it is going in the different different uh, oceans and uh, landfills. So the problem is associated with our behavior, with our habits of treating plastic as a waste. So we as a bislary think that plastic is not a waste. It is an opportunity. It is an opportunity to create something for the environment. It is an opportunity to create a new resource which can be reused again and again. It is a opportunity where we can uh, create a cleaner environment for a sustainable environment for our upcoming generation. So now uh, we will see a PPT uh, where uh, you will get some ideas about uh, the bottles for change initiative. Also uh, some conceptual clarity uh, are there associated with the PPT and also uh, what uh, actually happens uh, about plastic and how we are using plastic and then how it goes in the landfill and what are the different uh, you know uh, things that are need to be changed that all things are covered in the particular PPT. So we will just uh, have a look at the PPT. Uh, so So I, I hope that everyone is uh, having the access to uh, you know see the PPT. So uh, bottles for change. It's an initiative by Bislery. It's a CSR initiative by Bislery. So basically plastic is a friend that uh, we meet every day. So according to us the plastic is a friend that we meet every day. So where do we meet plastic? So some meet us just once the like the plastic spoons we use frequently we use uh, plastic spoons so they might meet us just once in a day uh, some keep us healthy some make us clean and fresh uh, some keep our beauty alive Some always bring a smile. Uh, this is associated with our childhood memories that we were using many of the toys, 90 to 95 percent of the toys which are made from plastic. The most important thing and now in the current relation, the most important thing, some protect us for life. So now we are facing the COVID situation. We are aware about how uh, it is affecting the uh, life of people, how it has affected our own life. Now we are having sitting in the home and going online and taking the sessions so that how it is it has affected. 
so whenever you will see the medical syringes medicines uh, every medicinal assets uh, it have a covering of plastic in it even the injection that you are seeing it is it is a it is made from the plastic so it is again a question that if this much plastic we are using then why if we are planning to ban the plastic then who will replace plastic that is a big question which i will cover in the next segment but what actually plastic is plastic is convenient plastic is durable plastic is safe plastic is strong plastic is handy and plastic is beautiful so this is a new concept that we have added that plastic is beautiful because uh, plastic has made our life beautiful and we are using plastic uh, every day a lot so plastic is having this characteristics and main important thing which many people are not aware about is that plastic is recyclable so these are some products which are made from the recycled plastic you just have a look there is a chair there are some handbags which are made from plastic packaging materials a shoe is there which is made from the pet bottles many of the uh, top brand manufacturing shoe company are using now plastic to create shoes puma adidas uh, every every uh, uh, company is using plastic uh, to create this type of recycled products so plastic is recyclable first learning of the day is that many people might be knowing that plastic is recyclable but they don't know that plastic can be recycled 100% so 100% plastic can be recycled and after recycling we can have some sort of this type of products there are more products but i have selected three or four products which which are catchy you can say so this type of products we can get from the recycled plastic so now i am just going with the flow i will explain you uh, some more concepts so plastic is our superhero that is another concept that we have added but now we have seen uh, where we meet plastic where we are using plastic where actually plastic uh, is play, playing a great role in our life uh, it is associated with our childhood memories also but what is happening with the plastic this is a picture of a landfill you can see 80 to 85% of the waste is plastic plastic is thrown everywhere you can see plastic is there most of the uh, materials are plastic so it's a question for us that who is throwing this plastic plastic is not going on himself or herself but we are throwing it so this is the picture of landfill so the we need to change our habit we need to change our disposal techniques so see these are our general uh, you know we litter plastic everywhere we use the plastic and then we litter plastic everywhere the we is intentionally in the red font because that we needs to be changed we discard plastic in trash we abandon plastic at landfill we dump plastic in the ocean iska to sabse badhiya example hai whenever in our some of the tradition we are having after ganpati many of the people they just uh, put the har in the polythene bag even if, even they know that that uh, particular uh, flower is biodegradable biodegradable in water but they will still put it in a plastic bag and they will put a nod and then they will throw it but uh, then the animals like uh, turtle that you are saying they, he will go and he will bite uh, that flower but pehle uske pehle he will bite that plastic so the plastic will go in his stomach and the other problems will be created so that is how marine life is affected so we need to think that who is throwing it who is channelizing it who is the main culprit that we need to understand which is not being understood by many people they are just blaming plastic and then we blame uh, plastic for Uh, these are some articles published uh, planet or plastic plastic bags are killing our marine life it's time to ban the uh, bag uh, no more the ocean deadliest predator ye bahut sare tags aise diye gaye hai so now i will just uh, come with a new concept that if we ban the plastic now we we will assume that we have banned plastic so no one is using plastic okay for your kind information i will give you one input 
that a individual per day consumes about 300 gram of plastic 300 of grams of plastic a individual consumes per day so in a family uh, in a nuclear family there might be four or three people so they consume at least 1 kg of plastic every day okay so now we are we have assumed that we we, we have banned plastic so who will take place of that 1 kg who will take place of that 300 gram which a uh, individual is using per day that is a big question because we need to understand the history of history behind the invention of plastic why plastic was invented because in the 1990s industrialization started so where many of the developed countries developing countries started to use uh, natural resources like wood uh, they used wood for the industrial purposes so it created a question that if the population goes on increasing and if we are still continue to use the natural resources at some extent at a point of the uh, uh, life there will be a situation where natural resources will vanish and then there will be a big question because natural resources are not to be served for only individual purposes but they are linked with our own life they are linked with our own existence if they don't exist then we also don't exist so that was a big question during that time so that time they invented plastic and for your kind information plastic ka invention human being has done it wo aise matlab it is not naturally made we have made it to cure some problems to cure the problems at some extent now this was the history this was the thought process behind introducing plastic in our life second thing is plastic how plastic is manufactured how the pet bottles how this particular polythene bag how they are manufactured so there is a nanomer uh, which is made from the petroleum waste okay petroleum waste so kerosene diesel petrol this all types of uh, fuels which we use and which are left behind which is, whichever the waste which is left behind from this fuels through that waste we are generating a nanomer so that is the uh, manufacturing uh, Uh, you know manufacturing input for the plastic so where we are using it to create plastic so we are channelizing a waste to create something which can be used as a option to reduce the use of natural resources now plastic bags are killing our marine life okay so we have banned plus suppose that we ban plastic bags and we start to use paper bags or even other bags which are available in the market so how paper bags are made paper bags are made from the paper right so how paper is made so paper is wood made from the wood so to get a wood you have to cut down the trees means using the paper bag will save your environment that's a silly ideology i will say so instead of blaming plastic why we not uh, use it in a proper way and we ensure that plastic i will i personally will not throw the plastic i will as a family i will ensure as a college as a institution we will ensure that we will not throw the plastic uh, in the ocean we will use it and we will just channelize it for something good which can be used to make the things that we have seen in the early stage of ppt four to five products there are more products you can get t-shirts you can get bags you can get paper blocks you can get wall separations you can get benches you can get chairs everything is made you, everything can be made from the plastic so why can't we do that so this is the main uh, you know aim of our initiative that we need to change our habit so now in the next segment of the ppt we will see how we can do this how we can have a good uh, environment without banning the plastic so again there is a question who has created this mess plastic or us means the problems or the mess which are we are addressing day by day that this has happened due to plastic this has happened due to plastic whether it was created by plastic or whether it was uh, created by our uh, fault behaviors or fault uh, you know disposal techniques so that is the question that every individual needs to ask himself or herself so basically can we change our behavior so this is our tagline that if you change your behavior yes you can save your environment so to save your environment we need to change our behavior uh, now i will relate this with the current situation behavior change behavior change let's take behavior change as a concept so we will take this uh, example of covid 
okay so covid so when covid started we realized that uh, now we have to go under the lockdown process but initially the covid started in foreign countries if i am not wrong so they have the concept of lockdown earlier from us and then we just copied down that concept of lockdown in india and then we started to uh, you know do the lockdown uh, strict people to their uh, homes and don't come only if there is some necessity you can go outside and take it for a certain period of time so that way we have changed our behavior which was never means mere life mein to maine pehli bar i have witnessed that behavior change ki ghar mein teen teen mahine pade raho so that is a behavior change that we have seen uh, so after lockdown we have seen then we realized ki abhi lockdown karke uh, issue will not be resolved because vaccine will take time to come in the market so 3 months ho gaye 4 months ho gaye then we have to uh, you know we have to go to go out uh everyone has a job everyone has a student life everyone has a syllabus everyone has a academics which uh, they want to cover so we realize that now we have to survive with this covid so we have to live with covid with certain behavior changes so we started to use mask we started to use sanitizer we introduced a concept of social distancing which we never used so we used a concept of social distancing we used uh, the concept of sanitization of everything that we touch or sanitize everything that we are accessing so this were the behavior changes in 2020 but before 2020 in 2019 18 17 or anywhere any year you take before 2020 we don't have this behavior very few people were using mask in uh, the public places but now everyone is using mask so that is a behavior change that we have brought up now this was a covid situation post lockdown and uh, pre lockdown and post lockdown this was the situation after before you can say now similarly for the plastic ban see in india plastic is recycled 61% so india is never having that much problem uh, about plastic but it is a problem of the foreign countries uh, because in developed countries they use plastic and they don't have channelize it properly and uh, there that is why their recycling rate is very low if you look for the germany they are having uh, a good recycling rate of 60% apart from that india is having 61% uh, a year before now it uh, it may have been increased uh, in india we have rack picker community we all know rack picker community so due to that community we are having a good uh, recycling rate about plastic so in india it was never a concern but it's uh, it was uh, seemed to be a concern Uh, due to the foreign countries agenda so there they started to ban the plastic in foreign countries uh, plastic ban was never a indian concept it was again a foreign concept same to the lockdown concept so there they banned the plastic and they just uh, you know banned plastic everything they uh, stopped using plastic but after some time the way similar to the way of lockdown they realized that now uh, if we ban the plastic then we have to use natural resources we have to uh, sacrifice some of the habitual things some of the things that we have to you know that we need every uh, uh, every uh, for every life activity so that we have to sacrifice so they have again uh, you know changed the uh, plastic ban and they have promoted the concept of recycling so the way that after covid lockdown after covid lockdown we use mask sanitizer and social distancing similarly after plastic ban they introduced recycling of the plastic some extent of reuse of plastic and this two things this two different situations you can relate uh, similarly then we copied down plastic ban in india then plastic ban has happened two times in maharashtra but uh, still people are using that plastic bags uh, so because there is no option to the plastic if you go to pani puri wala and if you want to take the pani puri parcel then uh, you have to go with a stainless steel ka dabba and something like that because in paper bag you can't take any liquid so that thing is there so that is why it 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 look theoretically good that we will ban plastic but on the implementary conditions on the practical field it failed totally failed so that is why similar uh, with the lockdown concept we realize that now plastic ban we can't do so we have to change some behavior changes 
so that is why we introduced that we will now segregate plastic now we will send plastic for recycling some people are reusing plastic uh, for uh, the you know decorations and all other aspects for planting purpose they are using plastic some are using for the home related activities they are reusing so reuse recycle uh, they have introduced a concept of reduce also but uh, reduce uh, is not in our control unless and until option comes to plastic whenever the alternative will come uh, for the plastic then we can have the reduce concept because reduce tabhi bol sakte jab we have an option for that particular thing so if you want to uh, wear a specs usme bhi plastic hai the laptop that i am using it is having plastic the phones that we are using it is having plastic subha uthke when we when we are brushing our teeth the brush that we use is made from plastic the toothpaste jo colgate hai or dabar hai anything uh, it comes in a plastic feeling uh, the uh, for bath we are using mugs buckets that also is in plastic so everywhere we plastic is uh, with us plastic is like a good friend of us so everywhere we are uh, using plastic so that is a uh, difficult thing to you know stop use of plastic then what you will use you have to use a metal brush in the morning which may aapke 32 teeth mein se kitna bach jayenge that will be again a different question so now we will uh, see uh, that we have seen that we have to create the behavior change to save our environment to address this plastic uh, issues that we are facing so what are the behavior changes so we pledge we have a aim to that we will pledge to send 100% plastic for recycling so how can we achieve to send 100 plus 100% plastic for recycling so all these terms and conditions will be your behavior change these things we need to address these things we need to create a change in our habits so first thing is that the conceptualization by not treating plastic as a waste the Uh, the point where you treat, uh, treat plastic as waste it will go in the landfill only if we if you uh, treat it as a opportunity you will definitely use it for some good concern or you definitely will reuse in other terms so first thing that you have to understand that plastic is not a waste and second thing is by sending clean plastic for recycling so now here we have uh, uh, you uh, we have witnessed a new concept of clean plastic recycling we have, we have got some ideas about recycling we have seen some products we have seen uh, how plastic can be recycled 100% so now the new concept is clean plastic uh, this is again some habitual changes don't dump plastic with garbage we have this general uh, habit of uh, throwing plastic with other garbage wet waste dry waste always clean plastic and collect separately just the way you collect old newspapers and books so you can see uh, the all the plastic materials they are very much clean so it looks like they are uh, uh, very much new materials of plastic so always we have to clean plastic so we had a concept of cleaning clean plastic that i will explain uh, in the next segment second concept now has came that we have to collect it separately that means segregation of plastic so clean plastic and segregation of plastic and we have just uh, you know explained this particular thing with the example that we collect newspapers uh, everyone collects newspaper because newspaper have a value we know iska kuch 1 kilo ka aayega so we collect newspaper same we have to apply the condition for plastic so now the first concept that is why should we clean plastic because clean plastic can be directly sent for recycling uh, so recycling jo hai basically uh, recycling is being channelized by different recycling industries like these are big industries not small scale industries so they need clean plastic because if the plastic is unclean then it will not go for recycling why because clean plastic uh, unclean plastic is basically it will stink first thing because it is unclean second thing is that whenever you want to uh, put it in a uh, recycling machine uh, if it is unclean then it will affect the you know process of machinery it will affect the blades it will affect the purity of the product when it will be the end product 
so that way they will not uh, prefer unclean plastic and the picture that we saw of landfill there you will see jo bhi plastic hai that is unclean some मतलब ऐसा नहीं है कि एवरी वेस्ट है वहां पे जो भी दैट इज क्लीन प्लास्टिक एवरी प्लास्टिक व्हिच वाज इन द लैंड व्हिच वाज देयर इन द लैंडफिल पिक्चर वाज अनक्लीन दैट इज व्हाई वो लैंडफिल में गया है सो व्हाट इफ प्लास्टिक इज नॉट क्लीन सो दिस इज अ फ्लो डायग्राम वेयर यू कैन से सी डर्टी प्लास्टिक इज नॉट प्रेफर्ड टू बी पिक्ड अप फॉर रीसाइक्लिंग बिकॉज़ रीसाइक्लिंग is a uh, not like your uh, uh, bmc vehicle which will take uh, kaisa bhi kachra ho they will take and they will just dump it but recycling industries they have a uh, proper terms and condition that they need clean plastic to be recycled and if it is not picked then ultimately it will go in the landfill the picture that we saw waisa hi hoga decomposition of bio waste results in gases that burns plastic along with garbage producing toxic fumes okay so sometimes what happens at the landfill they just uh, you know aag laga dete and then after that you know that uh, when plastic is fired it will uh, produce some toxic fumes like co2 uh, carbon dioxide carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide so this different toxic fumes can be produced a uh, plastic breaks down at landfill and damages soil quality and pollutes water too so plastic is a non uh, biodegradable thing we all are aware about that and even if it degrades after a very long time it will affect the water and it will affect the soil quality it will affect the soil fertility so this particular diagram will show us that if we not clean the plastic then ultimately it will go in the landfill it will create it will contribute to the air pollution it will contribute to the soil pollution it will contribute to the water pollution so Uh, cleaning is that much important if cleaning is not achieved then this three reasons air pollution water pollution and every kind of pollution we can see so this is a basic difference between clean plastic and unclean plastic clean plastic can be directly recycled unclean plastic cannot be recycled easily so some part of the unclean plastic can be recycled that i will uh, explain because uh, if it is much uh, unclean if it is more uh, uh, very less unclean then it can be recycled by using water sprays and uh, different different water machine techniques then again there is a extra usage of water which is again a big issue water scarcity we can say but uh, if the plastic is 100% unclean then it will not be preferred to be picked clean plastic will directly go for recycling because if if it is clean then they will not use water Uh, for cleaning purpose so we can save uh, gallons of water for the mother earth second thing is that it comes back to us as a new product so we have seen the new products like shoes handbags chairs uh, the, the, this type of products we can get back which we can use it ends up in landfills and the ocean unclean plastic so always clean plastic before you dispose a uh, clean plastic gets picked up right from your doorstep by our plastic agent so we have different plastic agents mapped according to the pin code uh, basically the main function of this plastic agents is to collect the plastic from uh, the institutions to collect the plastic from societies to collect the plastic from different different corporates so we have our own vehicle which uh, ensures which go to goes to the doorstep of customer and they collect the plastic they weigh the plastic and uh, that plastic we uh, channelize for recycling so that is how we are pledging to send 100% plastic for recycling before that uh, after that we will see uh, now uh, we have introduced a app uh, that the name of the app is bottles for change you just have a look on the flow uh, ppt flow then i will explain what it is so step 1 you can see after step 2 you will see other information to be filled step 3 is then you will see the done uh, ticking done uh, you know done option so basically uh, the main purpose of this app is to uh, you know uh, map all the plastic agents who can ensure that uh, if a person if a society if a institution if a corporate if they are creating the behavior change if they are segregating the plastic 
if they are cleaning the plastic and if they are storing the plastic then this plastic agents will ensure that it goes for recycling as they have their connections with the recycling companies recycling plants where uh, they will uh, uh, after accumulating this plastic they will channelize it for recycling so basically this app is available on play store the name of the app is bottles for chain so whenever you have to register you can register as a step one enter your details when you will click register with us you have to enter your details choose your closest uh, plastic agent and then you have to just raise a request of plastic pickup and then your plastic pickup request will be raised that notification will go to the uh, plastic agent which is particularly assigned by your pin code so according to address according to pin code we have different uh, plastic agents so maybe from for chambur or for uh, other location uh, according to the chambur pin code we will have the resp uh, respective plastic agent where he can see whenever you raise the plastic pickup he can see that uh, thing i will explain this more uh, later words after finishing the ppt uh, where uh, what kind of role that you can perform uh, as a college student so what happens to the clean plastic collected from you uh, plastic is collected from your home and uh, by our plastic agent and it is taken to our associate plastic aggregators finally it is it has it goes for recycling and let us ensure uh, that no plastic will end up on roads in rivers in ocean in landfill so it, the ppt is over so uh, you have seen the ppt and uh, ppt explains about the whole process how plastic is used where we are using plastic where uh, 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 in our daily life activities how we are using plastic what is happening with the plastic and what things are needed to be changed so now uh, uh, the particular college shah and uh, uh, sake college i will take in it in a short, uh, short form they have registered through the app uh, for this particular uh, initiative and uh, now we are having this first step of introduction of this particular initiative where we had this awareness session where students will get to know about what this initiative is now the second thing is that we we do the plastic collection from school colleges we do the plastic collection from different stakeholders like societies also so as a responsible citizen as a responsible college student as a responsible uh, responsible young generation what we can do basically uh, we for, we will uh, have the, after this awareness session uh, now i know i am i am aware about that college uh, abhi tak start nahi hua hai so what we can do we can start collection of plastic at your own houses and um, whenever the college will open you can bring that plastic and we can schedule a pick up for you for the particular college second thing is that if we can activate our own societies where we stay okay some people might be staying in uh, chembu some people might be staying in navi mumbai some people may be staying in the greater parts of mumbai so they can activate simply activate their own societies by talking with the management committee now you know much about the initiative if uh, you can explain them and you can activate the societies also because this is a competition for school colleges school colleges we are having a competition where uh, the top 3 colleges the top 3 schools will get some award some recognition at our own plant and also this data uh, you know very much about the data because you are daily associated with that data with the data thing you are doing the analysis and all so we also do the analysis of this data and we submit this data to the local corporations we submit this data to the pollution control board where the government institutions get to uh, get to understand that this much school colleges have participated in th in this initiative uh, they have ensured they have collected this much of plastic they have uh, started this much of uh, plastic drives in their particular colleges and through which uh, they will get to know ki ya yeah, this college is a very uh, socially well known college they are involved in social activities like this environmental related activities like this so this way we have to ensure that uh, now 
कॉलेज में कॉलेज इज क्लोज सो यू कॉन्ट कलेक्ट इट एट कॉलेज और जब भी चालू होगा दैट इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग बट आफ्टर द सेशन Uh, you can start from today by today by itself. You can start the collection of plastic. Now, what you have to do, you have to just ensure that whatever the plastic that you are using, it should be clean. First thing. Then second thing is it should be segregated uh, from the other. This may आपको mix नहीं करना है with other uh, materials. Cleaning in the sense you don't have to clean everything, every type of plastic with water. You have to just clean those things which in which there are food particles or in which there are food materials. Like we order uh, uh, from Zomato and Swiggy, and they deliver us the uh, food delivery in a black container, black box, which is a plastic. So some of the times uh, we left some food in it, or some of the times uh, the oil is uh, uh, you know associated with the layer of that plastic. So you have to take just small quantity of water, just rinse it once. and then you just keep that plastic for uh, uh, in a different corner of your house and if you clean the plastic i, I swear that it will not stain and you will not get any problem it will be just like a normal material in your house so it will not stain so that way you have to clean those things only which are associated with the food particles uh, in this particular initiative you can i will explain about the types of plastic which you can submit so for uh, particularly the water bottles you are aware about it is made from the plastic not only bisleri bottles but uh, other brands bottles also we are taking drinking waters food containers uh, uh, we are taking uh, plastic uh, food containers we are taking the pens file separators we are taking the toys which are broken naya nahi dena hai so jo toy use mein nahi hai something bucket hai chair hai which is broken so that you can channelize uh, in this particular initiative uh, main thing is associated with your soft plastic so because in india uh, jo pet bottle hai that is bisleri bottle or any drinking water bottle that is recycled 91% okay only 9% is not recycled which is at the consumer end thing so it it will take time to reach those 9% through this initiative we can reach that 9% but uh, main problem is with your soft plastic soft plastic in the sense chocolate wrappers biscuit wrappers milk pouches even your polythene bags carry bags plastic bags so this plastic is creating the actually problem because it is not going for the recycling because it is mainly associated with the food materials and then it is not clean so unclean plastic where it goes you all now have seen in the ppt so basically we have ensured in this initiative that we'll we'll collect this type of plastic also so we are collecting chocolate wrappers biscuit wrappers chips wrappers masala wrappers maggi wrappers milk pouches polythene bags uh, file uh, polythene bags even uh, the uh, carry bags of plastic plastic bubble wraps so these types of plastic we are collecting so you can give that plastic also in this particular initiative just you have to ensure that it should be clean because it's a noble initiative related to the environmental cause so we have to ensure that it is clean and then we we will ensure that it goes for the recycling 100% so this way now uh, we have to collect uh, so basically now whenever the college will open we don't have any i don't have any idea personally so you can start the collection of plastic at your own uh, individual houses living places second thing is that as i have mentioned you that you can try to activate your own housing societies if possible uh, you can directly if if the society is interested you can directly uh, download the app uh, you can register uh, on the app you have to just click uh, register with us in that you will uh, see a category different categories that housing societies school colleges so if there housing society is interested you have to click the housing society wala button after clicking it you have to just enter the details of the society and then you have to click submit so after submitting you will be you will be registered so i will get a back end notification that this society from chembur or this society from navi mumbai they have a, they have registered and they are very keen to start this initiative and they want a plastic pickup uh, so accordingly we will arrange for that also so this is your role that mainly you have to uh, uh, aware people also uh, like the way that i am doing so you have to aware people you have to clean the plastic after using you have to segregate the plastic you have to ensure that no plastic will go in the landfill uh, this way this is the noble cause of this initiative also we have the recognition recognition of our individual efforts 
if some college students if they have done extra extra activities something different from others we will certify them also like i will share your example of st javier school uh, a girl student who, who she has taken this initiative in her own family uh, marriage so she had collected almost 500 kgs uh, in that particular personal marriage and then she brought that plastic through a certain uh, you know personal uh, personal individual self to school and then we collected from school so we recognize her for her efforts so might be you can also uh, do this type of efforts uh, you can be recognized so this way uh, we are uh, doing this initiative also i will just uh, dictate some uh, social media pages which you can follow and you can have a close look on how we are doing the activities in other cities also not only in mumbai so for instagram it is uh, bottles underscore four underscore change so you can just note, note down you can follow it and you can have a look how we are uh, daily how we are doing the activities daily how we are approaching stakeholders what type of recycling materials we are uh, uh, promoting so again i will dictate that for insta it is bottles under, underscore four underscore change and for facebook it is the simply the name of initiative bottles for change so i think uh, i have explained uh, the initiative to you now we can open up for the questions and answer if someone wants to debate that whatever whatever you have said or whatever you have explained no this is wrong you can also debate like that also you want you want to add something you can add also you want to have you want to have some suggestion also you can ask that so i think uh, we can open up for the question and answers thank you so much sir uh, that was indeed a in very informative session and it seems that uh, many of our attendees have quite a few questions but due to uh, some technical issues the chat box isn't enabled right now okay so i would like to request all of those inquisitive minds to just drop a mail to our professor uh, professor shazia sayed ma'am and she'll forward your queries to sir okay Uh, I would now like to present the vote of thanks uh, to Sir for this very informative interaction on the subject of overall climate protection by way of disposal of plastic, which Sir has so candidly explained. We, as students and faculties of this college, are sure to carry forward this message of environmental protection. I would now request you, Sir, to please accept this modest gift as a token of our sincere appreciation. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That is very nice. Thank you, sir. And I would also like to express gratitude uh, to our principal, sir, Dr. Bhavesh Patel, uh, our faculties, the management, and Professor Shahzad Sayed, ma'am, for making this happen, and also to all of our attendees. Uh, participants, you can leave now. The session is uh, concluded. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us. Thank today. you, thank you all that uh, those who have joined this uh, particular session. And I, I know that, and I'm, I'm assured that you will create some change because you are the youth generation. Uh, you will create a change. You will create a sustainable environment for upcoming generation, and that is our own responsibility. Because I also belong to that particular young generation, which needs to, you know, aware people, aware the post generation, also the generation which is uh, very junior to us. So that is our own responsibility. So we will ensure that uh, from today, uh, at least. 
uh, we will ensure some habitual changes slowly 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 maybe we can achieve our aim that we will ensure plus 100 plastic 100 percent plastic will go for recycling and no plastic will go in the landfill so that we can have a better environment for the mother earth we can heal our mother earth and thank you uh, for the uh, opportunity uh, to speak with uh, the students to have an interaction with them uh, so uh, it helped me a lot also thank you thank you sir yes